My name is Joseph Esposito, and this is Pi Show. Welcome to episode two of the Unknown series. It was only minutes ago that both myself and my cameraman sat down with Ellie Carpenter, a member of the Australian women's football team, an Olympic representative, and already a two-year pro with the Western Sydney Wanderers, all at the age of 16, Ellie has ticked many boxes that footballers don't tick in their careers. But for myself and my cameraman, we wanted to dig a little bit deeper to see her story and see what makes her tick on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's check it out. Welcome to the world of Ellie Carpenter. For a young woman who has already reached many of football's heights, let's take a glance back to where it all began with the girl from the country. It all started when I was about three, four years old okay. in a country town called Cowra, New South Wales. Okay. It's about 400 kilometres west of Sydney. My brother played soccer as well, my older brother, so I got into soccer from him. And we were playing one day and I was just holding onto the goalpost and I was just didn't want to kick the ball. My brother was dragging me across the field and um, just a split moment, I just got the ball and dribbled the whole field and scored. And my mum and dad were like, oh, well, like, she Ellie must, play, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she um, can play soccer. It was from that day that Ellie's football career was born. After spending quite some time in the junior ranks, it was decided that Ellie and her family would move to Sydney, where both her and her brother could pursue their professional dreams. A sacrifice that had to be made, but one that would not be easy. In the big city, moving down in the big smoke, yeah. everyone was like, oh, you're a city slicker now. Yeah. Um, but I think it was just there, yeah, more of the transition, and new friends and all that sort of stuff. But okay. I think, yeah, I think I settled down pretty fast. Yeah, gosh, yeah and where'd you, um, where, so where did football take off from there? Where was your first club? Where did almost your, your Sydney story with football start? Uh, so when I moved down, I got selected in the Westfield Sports Football Program. Oh. So that's the majority of the reason I moved down, to go to that school. Uh, and then I got selected for the New South Wales teams. Uh, so the, it was called Project 22 back then. Uh, and I played that with the boys. Um, I was only girl, and we were in the boys' team. Yeah, in Met West, and we were versing all the other regions in Sydney. After putting in performances well above her years, it was only time that a then 14-year-old Ellie would begin to attract the attention of professional clubs. Enter the Western Sydney Wanderers, and a turning point that would see Ellie's career literally explode into life. I was playing in uh, national championships with the girls, under 13s and under 15s in. Coffs Harbour and that's where I got identified for the youth national team, so the under-17s, the mini Matildas. And I got identified in Coffs Harbour, then got brought into camps for the 17s. I went away on a tour to Malaysia for the qualifiers and I must have done something right because I got <laughs> called up to the 20s um, the following week after that actually and straight into camp and again went to Vietnam with the 20s on tour. Um, must have done well there as well. Uh, and then after that, I got the Wanderers contract yeah, offered, wow. offered to me. Uh, and then it just all fell from there. And fall it did. As Ellie headed into the beginning of her first season with the Wanderers, her career would seemingly catapult into a world not known to a large percentage of professional footballers. I started my season off with the Wanderers. I think it was late uh, 2015, like late 2015. Yep. And I think it was four rounds in to the Wanderers uh, season. And after that fourth round, Matildas had camps coming up for the uh, qualification for Rio in Japan the next January. Um, and then I got the email for Matildas camp and I was just like, oh, like, is this real? Like, yeah. is my name like supposed to be there? Yeah. And so I went into camp the following week and um, it was so daunting going in there. Yeah, I was going to say, what was your first feeling? I think definitely um, in all the camps that we have at the IS and just the professionalism there, uh, just training and then eating and then ice baths, I think that was all new to me. And I was so scared like going in to yeah. camp. And, Did you feel um, out of place at all? Um, not really. Like As soon as I got in the pitch, I was just myself and yeah. uh, I thought I'd do pretty well. From here, Ellie would train and travel with the Matildas to Japan, where she would realise a childhood dream, along with being a part of a momentous occasion for women's football in Australia after their victory over China in the final qualification match. I ended up making my debut, um, and that was just Against? Uh, Vietnam wow, okay. in the second game of our qualification, because we had five games. Yeah. Just being there with the girls, and once that final whistle went, and we were just running onto the field. After such an incredible achievement, 
Ellie worked tirelessly day and night, resulting in a day where her Olympic dream would soon become a reality. Yeah, well, I wasn't really expecting it. Um, but yeah, once I got home and I got that email and the call, I was just like, just, I just lost the words. Like I didn't, yeah, I was just so shocked. And um, I think just all the sacrifices that I made just like all paid off and yeah. I was just so happy and yeah, lost for words. Really. So Ellie, as a member of the Matildas Olympic team, packed her bags and headed to Brazil for what was to be a majorly successful campaign. After her Olympic debut against Zimbabwe, Ellie had come a long way from the little girl with braids in her hair. It is here that Ellie reflected on what it means to represent Australia and why she is where she is today. It's always um, an honour to put on the green and gold jersey and play for your country and your family and everyone that supported you along the way. And I think um, I never take it for granted every time I put that jersey on and I just want to give it, like, perform the best I can um, every time I put it on. Uh, definitely my family. I think my mum and my dad and my brothers and my grandparents and my nan has sacrificed a lot uh, from moving, my mum quitting a job to come down to support us into doing what we loved and I think I just can't thank them enough for everything they've done, done so far. So there it is. If you want to know what you yourself can achieve in a short period of time, look no further than Ellie Carpenter. This down-to-earth, happy-go-lucky young woman is an idol for all. Many of us choose to believe that we are too young or too inexperienced to mix it with the best of the best. Ellie has proved that mindset wrong. Ellie, from me to you, thank you. It was a privilege to tell your story that is sure to have many more ups and downs. Stay focused in the pursuit of your dreams, but never forget where it all started, doing what you love with a smile on your face. This is Pi Show signing off. Dream big, everyone. The world is yours. Forever football. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Been trying to get all of you.